Okay, so here's the bow and uh, big elephant in the room. You're probably wondering why the bow has black limbs now instead of white limbs. Uh, no, I did not just get a wild hair and decide to put black limbs on it. Uh, public service announcement. The bow blew up in a bow press. Yeah, you heard me right. It blew up in the bow press. Shot out of it like an RPG. So thankfully that the archery shop uh, down for me had an extra set of limbs on a shop bow and they donated a set of black 65 pound limbs from a shop bow so we could make it to Foley. So shout out to Robbie and them for that. It was late night, crap happens, I'm human. Uh, if you have a bow press at your house, make sure that you get a system to where you can strap your bow to your bow press so that doesn't happen to you and cost you money. These bows are lifetime warrantied, but the warranty doesn't cover acts of human. Uh, but big shout out to Tracy and Jim Costner with Athens Archery. Uh, I called Tracy, spoke with Tracy especially, spoke with her, and I called her. She called me back within an hour. Their customer service is awesome. So if you're looking for a new bow this year and customer service is a really big thing for you, I would really check out Athens Archery because I called Tracy and within an hour she called me back. They talked to her, nicest woman I've ever talked to in my life and I was on the phone with her forever and uh, that was my fault. So if you tried calling her between that time, uh, that was on me. So sorry for that, be mad at me, don't be mad at her. Talk to her. Uh, told her, gave her the whole rundown on everything, what happened, you know, it was totally my fault. Uh, wasn't covered under warranty, kind of figured that, I knew that after it happened. But talking to their customer service and talking to her was just a breeze. Uh, she got me taken care of and she took very good care of me. And uh, she's getting me another set of limbs shipped out ASAP. But huge shout out to Jim and Tracy. So Tracy, if you're watching this video, thank you. Uh, but... Everything's done, tuning everything's done on it. Arrows are cut, the bow's tuned to the arrows, the arrows are tuned to the bow, vice versa. So we're gonna get out here and we're gonna sling a couple arrows through this thing. Probably make it out to triple digits today. Might lose some arrows, might hit the bullseye. I have no idea. The way that this past month has gone, there is like a 50-50 chance that we could shoot this arrow, completely miss the target, and hit a, tra or a plane full of pedestrians and a crash in my backyard. So, anyway, we're gonna sling a couple of arrows to this thing. So that is a lot better at 60. Let's shoot a couple more. We still might be just a tick to the left. I can fix that. 